Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. It is now mid-January, January 2. We're still doing our winter jobs, we're just letting things tick over at the minute. And I thought today would be the day we go out and uh, purchase that field I keep talking about and uh, extending it as part of the farm with some some buildings and just just sort of getting bigger really, expanding and doing our thing. This in here is the very last of the grass silage, so we'll get this in, get the cows sort of fed, and uh, we'll crack on with some more of the day. So what I want to do today is uh, just get a little bit of care of our chicken sword. So I'm going to need me bucket. That attached on the front. Now I'm hoping that today's video is going to be a bit of a quick one, so I don't mind doing uh, these little jobs sort of more in real time. We'll have some jumps, obviously, because there's a lot of back and forth. But to show you more what we're doing, we need to do some work on this actually. And it needs some fuel, let's put some fuel in it and uh, just give it a little fix. We may even need to purchase some more fuel soon. It's probably getting a bit low. Got our triggers on today. I've had them on. I've been uh, looking around someone's map for them um, sort of the last few days. So uh, I have to have the triggers on. I need to remember to turn them off because I don't like them. Right. Let's get out and uh, do some repair work. Ooh, four grand to repair it. Might as well uh, tighten up the bolts on there and anything he's doing on that. Lovely job. Yeah, hopefully soon you guys will get to see it. It's a lovely map. It's called the Oaks. It's a 4x British map. Really nice. Hopefully it does uh, come soon. It will be PC only because it's 4x and I think it's going um, third party site through his um, itch, uh, just because of uh, certain things it required for at the minute. Hopefully we'll be able to get through some of the errors and uh, bring it to the hub for everyone. So plenty of corn here. Now, it doesn't matter how much we bring because we've got the increased feed capacity um, since the last update, so loads in there. I've been doing well. We've got two, nearly two full pallets, I think. I have been taking care of them. I have been trying. Not always great with the chickens. They do get forgotten. The the cows have always seemed like such a priority. If we get some corn in there as base. Uh, I think I'll take the corn. I may have edited it so they can take canola, or did they already take canola? That was what we were growing canola for or soybeans there was something anyway but we'll have a look see if we can get in there I may have some canola so we can try we were flicking through so let's have a little look canola, can we feed them canola if they won't take it I'll uh, put it in with the cows because the cows, <laughs> cows can have canola That'll go in as um, instead of uh, a mineral feed type thing. I think it was soybean that the chickens needed, and that was why we planted the soybeans. And then I think I changed to so whatever needed soybeans needed would take the. Uh, canola as well, or it might have been the other way round. And whatever it takes, yeah, it doesn't take that hit. So it must be the soybeans they want. That was before Maze Plus changed up on us, and uh, we no longer needed all the extra stuff we got. Oh, made a right mess of that. I'll have to clear that up later. I am faffing about with that right now. <laughs> we'll stick this in with the cows. So they, like I say, they should take the canola quite happily. There we are. 
So the chickens will want some wheat because they've got the base and then that's the sort of the secondary thing. Felt sure. Perhaps it's uh, maybe... No, I didn't update. I don't know. I get so confused lately. Sometimes I think that's, uh, that may be why I need to uh, start afresh again. There's so many things I have changed and haven't changed that I really need to have a fresh... Oh, we can keep... Oh, I didn't know that. We can keep the grain grist in there. We can keep a lot of the uh, Maze Plus stuff in there. That's something else I didn't know. <laughs> Did that come in, in in a Maze Plus update, maybe? So, we'll get this in. Sorry, slow start to the video, but, you know, just have a nice little chilled one. We'll get over to some building in a minute. So then, uh, what they really want then is some roughage. And uh, it was only alfalfa hay that they took. But we don't have alfalfa hay, so I did change that to regular hay. So hopefully, we can do that. I'm just going to stick a hay bale in the bucket, go over, cut it, and then try and shovel it in. It'll be massive, but it should all go in. I've got the canola there already. See, so yeah, off my nice stack. That's gone down, you'll have noticed. That was right out to the front here. They've all gone in. They didn't last long. Will it sit in there? Go on, sit in there nicely. Yes. Right. Now I wonder if I if I cut it, it won't all fit in the bucket anyway. It's only three and a half thousand litre bucket. Let's go for our gate. Put the gate in for a reason. I still keep driving around. Our one and a half pallets. We have got nearly three full pallets of honey though. So this might take a little while. I'm gonna put it on the floor. I'll cut it, we'll see what sort of mess we get. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. There we go. Opened up the bale. Now, if this doesn't go into the chickens, I might cry. But <laughs> we might start again. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more. There we go, right. Just outside the front of the house. Lovely job. Oh, oh, oh. Not going in? Damn it. I definitely changed that. And I didn't update it. So... Canola and... Hey, should have gone in there. Never mind. Right, yo, I've got some mess to clear up. Well, the cows are happy. They managed to get some extra feed. So uh, at least someone benefited from the mess. So let's go and have a little look at this field I want to buy. I think it's empty. I hope, but well, it should be empty. No one should be planting in January. They've limed it, though. That's fine. Now it's not, it's got a little bit of a slope to it, so it's going to cause me issues. Probably cause no one else issues, but that will cause me issues. But we're going to go for it. This one we're going to buy, and I'm going to put some more farm buildings on it. And uh, we're going to expand that way, because I want to buy up some big fields for <laughs> beet harvests. Because <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment, so I'm just going to step away from it a bit so we don't get in the way. And let's, uh, let's do some purchasing. So first up, the land. This one here. And, oh, 42% increase. So it's a little bit pricey. They knew we wanted it. It's because we kept saying about it. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll buy that up. So now that we've brought it, we need to build on it. Now, I'm not going to do this in real time, you guys. I'm going to try and concentrate and uh, build it nicely. 
and uh, I'll have to time lapse it because it will take me a while and it may take me a couple of attempts so I have saved it and uh, we'll see what we can get I've dropped the speed down to five just purely for the build and uh, we'll see how this goes but I've got got an idea of what I want but I'm not great with the landscaping and stuff like that so this could go anyway really good so uh, let's see how it goes So there we have it. This is our very expensive expansion to our farm. Not perfect. I'm not great at the, at the landscaping and the building and stuff in 22. I used to be so much better in uh, 19. But we've got plenty of space, plenty of storage. I can move stuff around now. I can keep beet harvesters down here. So Let's have a look at what we've got going on. Uh, this is pretty much all, I think it is all actually, uh, Lancy Boys British uh, buildings. We've got two silage, we've got two, uh, three uh, bale sheds, we've got machinery shed with garage as well. But we can put uh, crops down in here if we wish. This one over here, like I say, this is a workshop. We can uh, keep some equipment in there. Another wash station here. A little bit of storage there. Again, plenty of room. May, although it's a good distance away from the cows, with these two big bunkers, I may move all the silage over here. I think that would uh, that would be helpful. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about at least getting rid of the little bunker over at the uh, over at the main farm. Yeah, I can stack plenty of my bales in here. It's just all all I'm thinking is we're going to need more and more and more and more. Let's start storing. I can store silage bales, hay bales, straw bales. Like I say, I have plenty of extra silage. And I can try and store my beets. I'm sure this takes beets as well as potatoes. Uh, 800,000 litres each. So that's plenty. Then you'll notice we left this bit of land up here and I sort of turned it into a bit of wasteland really. And what I'd like to come up and do is plant some actual trees rather than just place trees. I'd like to have a little crack at planting some trees up here and growing a little forest to help replenish the things that we've gotten rid of on the farm. 
and uh, across our lands. A little bit of uh, decoration here and there. Perhaps one day I'll spend a bit of time and really do like a farm of my own mind. Like I say, I've had a little crack at trying to do some map making, though I've not even got anywhere near close to putting the farms down on it yet. But anyway, yeah, this is this is what I've built. This is sort of what I was thinking. I've been wanting to get a lot of these buildings on the map for a while, but they're big, and we needed a big bit of land uh, when we had the money and when we didn't need the land, and that's sort of now. So yeah, I'm I'm happy about that. Now we just need to buy some big equipment to uh, get in it and uh, start filling up the storage. Oh, I need to come back down there with my paintbrush, get some more grass on. I'll do that in time. Did this side, not the other. But yeah, I think that is pretty much going to be this episode. It was only ever going to be a short one. I just wanted to show you me building the farm rather than coming back uh, end of February, early March and the farm being there. Fed the chickens. The cow's going to need more looking after. You know, there's lots to do. But what I'm thinking is once this is empty, I might get rid of this bunker. What I'll put there, I don't know. Maybe some more um, beehives or something like that. I c could, although we don't necessarily... Well, we do need a little bit of chopped bee, but we've got the other thing. We need to come down here and sort that out as well. Could move this there. Might see if the... Uh, move that process back. Maybe. Who knows? I might even keep the bunker. It could be handy just to have that as well, as a backup bunker. But keeping... Keeping those two big ones full, plus that one. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of grass. We're going to need to buy more grassland, which I'm ready to do. And uh, we just have to keep smashing it out until we can get these cows stable. Or until I can get these cows stable. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed just a little slice of maple today. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn your bell notification on. Find out when the videos come live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.